My name is Rachel Cott, I'm a ceramic jeweller based in Cardiff and I've been making for just over two years. Um, I basically begged and begged this woman to take me on, she had her own little business, um, so I was as a that I wanted to work in that environment because I knew, you know, she had her own business, she had her own creative freedom and I wanted to find out more about that. So I um, begged her and begged her for about two weeks to take me on and eventually she did. I work limited edition, which means that as a small maker, I can be making little batches of something different and very unique each time I work with classical narratives, poems, Oscar Wilde, John Keats, poetry, and now I'm working with um, Christina Rossetti's Goblin Market as my next collection. And then obviously it's a combination of that and then my personal aesthetic of what I'd like to wear and what I think is nice to have on that feels comfortable and interesting and I want to make something different. That's the really nice thing about the jewellery industry is they're very excited for innovative new ideas. It's very much an open wide market and it's got so many, so many different areas to it. And that also helps me to create something new constantly is because within that industry you're highly encouraged to be doing something different. I did consider using words when I was in my final year of university. I wanted to write out all of the, um, the quotes of the verses on the back of the pieces and I realised that's silly because I want to have someone look at my work and be able to tell about the story through the collection. They're not going to be able to do it by word by word, obviously, but I want it to have an emotion. Ceramic-wise, I'm very lucky because that was something they gave us great knowledge about in university of where to buy from. So I get my materials from Bath Potters, which is a very reputable, very good um, supplier for ceramics. Most ceramicists I know get their supplies from them. They're well priced um, and they're a UK company, so you, you can easily contact them and they're fantastic. First graduated from uni, one of the things I did in my final year was a business plan and it was extremely helpful but now I look back at it, it was just a load of rubbish to be bluntly honest. It was complete and utter rubbish because I had no idea. I contacted jewellers, I got their advice and their advice was extremely useful but really I was asking them the wrong questions because I didn't understand what it was. Um, so I left there going okay I'm going to set myself a five year business plan if I have five years for my business to set out and get going and after those five years I expect my business to be supporting me. I still kind of stand by that, that I want my business to be supporting me in five years time and that's kind of currently my end goal would be my business supporting me. This year I got into Tatler and I got into an Italian fashion magazine as well which I was particularly proud of because they came and found me at a show, they talked to me and loved my stuff and they featured me alongside some very, very amazingly successful new um, artists and designers including one lady who's been mentored by Alexander McQueen which I think is very important as an artist that you've got to make because you love it and that's something I do tell other um, makers who I talk to, especially people leaving university. 